Hey guys, welcome to day ten, and today I'm going to talk about a very good problem for lead code that is longest common prefix. So we need to write a function to find the longest common prefix strings among an array of strings, and if there is no pre common prefix, we have to return an empty string. So let's say I have a, a string of flower, flow, flight. So the common of among these all all are f l, right? So we need to print f l, and if there is no common uh, prefix, then it should return an empty string. So let's solve this problem. So okay, cool. So I need to write a program. Uh, let me copy the function name. So that I can copy and paste. That's it. Cool. So uh, I need to write. Uh, basically, I need to compare the two strings on the basis of the index value, and then I need to check uh, the if there is no common value, then there is maybe no need to move forward. Let me write the code, and then I will go and explain you. So this will be str s dot length. And I plus plus, and I need to do another loop which runs on J one, and which runs still S T R S dot length, and J plus plus. Cool. Now I need to check one condition. If this condition is true, then uh, it will uh, print the common uh, prefix. Cool. So S T R S J Dot length smaller than i, or I will check for two different conditions: either this or or this. Str, strs, j dot character at i is not equals to strs zero dot character at i. And need to return strs zero or sorry strings zero i. And if there will be no uh, no common, then it should be the empty string. So empty uh, s so strs cool. So let me run this uh, first in my local, and then check whether it's working or not. So I need to copy the uh, this string flower slide, and uh, perfect. And now let me make it static and longest common prefix and strs. Let me run and check whether it's working or not. Perfect. It's, it's, it's could be printing flow. Uh, and if there will be no common in that, then it should print a empty string. Cool. Let me run. So it's a blank string. Perfect. Now let me copy this and paste it inside the uh, lead code. And perfect. Now it is perfect. Now let me submit this. Now it's working. Fine. Perfect. So lead code is setting my. Uh, My program. So let me explain to you how exactly what will be the approach. So let's say we have our strings. Uh, we have an array of strings uh, which consists of some common flows, right? So this will be the array zero. This will be the one, and this will be the uh, two index. Okay. So I need to run two different loops to compare the character inside the uh, strings of a particular array. So for This loop, I am basically checking str zero dot length. Basically, I am checking the length of this is uh, this string. Then I have to uh, run the loop for this one for this string, and I am comparing this by this. So if str is j dot length, 
J means one. One dot length is not equals to uh, or smaller than or equals to i. Or or this is the or operator. L S T L S J means one. Dot character at i means zero if i is not equals to zero. Dot character at i. And the root root on basically. If there is a common uh, common character, then uh, then the loop should go on. Otherwise, loop should get stopped because there will be no common thing. So there will be no logic to move forward, right? So it will then you know, str is zero and is subtracting zero and dot i till the common character. So it need to return the common character uh, from the index zero. Well, because we are talking about the prefix, so prefix always starts from the zero. Well, and if there will be no common thing, then it should return. STR is zero. Okay, so I hope uh, you like this video, and I'm able to explain the proper logic of this code. In case you are not able to understand, or I will not be able to explain to you, please do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely try to help you out. And if you want uh, to, uh, if you want me to make a proper video for another topic, so please uh, comment down in the comment section. I will try to create your uh, your particular video for you. If you like my video, if you like my teaching style, please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you, thanks a lot.